Hello, my name is David Vega and I'm here to present and speak about the five themes that I was assigned on the Strength Quest test that I performed for my SLS class. So first, let's start off by talking about how the test was. The test was pretty in-depth, I think. Several questions, you had a whole left side, you had a whole right side, and they would ask, for example, are you funny or do you like to help people? I think it was a little complicated because there were several questions that I felt that I was both and you had to pick one or the other. But it was really, what I enjoyed about it was that it didn't show you, it had no way to show you if you were on track to get a certain theme. So there was no way to pick and choose your themes. There was only, a, only the test would assign them. So one of my five themes, actually the one theme that I believe overall describes me best is an achiever. In my words, an achiever is a person with a thirst for success that cannot be quenched no matter how high the achievement. A good visual representation of this, in my opinion, no better person to represent this theme than the one and only Floyd Money Mayweather. I mean, this guy comes from the hood in Michigan. He works his way up boxing, goes to the Olympics, does well in the Olympics, becomes professional, and he just keeps on going and going, taking out names like Canelo Alvarez, Manny Pacquiao, makes a fortune. Now he, he's more than good to retire. He can retire right now and be perfectly fine, but the guy, he just doesn't stop. He continues and continues. Now they're even speaking, maybe having a fight with Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor. That just goes to show how much of an achiever he is, and no matter how high he gets, he just keeps going to extra level, see how much more he can achieve. And another quote that, I, that really touched me while doing my research on this project, and I believe really illustrates what an achiever is in a quote by Dr. Robert Scholar that says success is never ending and failure is never final. I mean what better way to describe success than that? No matter how high you go, if you really look into your situation you can always go a step higher. And if for some reason you do stumble and you fall somewhere, remember failure is never final. You can always get back up and keep going. Another really interesting theme that I was assigned by Strength Quest is futuristic. Uh, when I first got the theme, I wasn't sure what to think. I didn't feel that I was very futuristic, but after looking into my situation deeper, I realized, wow, you know, out of all the themes, this theme is the one that I honestly, I use it the most. As an achiever, I'm always looking to achieve goals, and before I even get to the goal that I'm, that I'm striving towards, I'm already thinking how to get to the next one. And that right there, that makes me a futuristic person. To me, a fu being futuristic, or the future itself, to define it in my own words, is an unavoidable incoming event constantly manipulated by present variables. In other words, this event is coming whether you like it or not, but what you do now, that can change the results later. I, didn't, I, I can't really think of a good picture that will hit this theme right on the head, but one that I can think, one quote that really illustrates this, I mean, this quote is, is just perfect for futuristic. It says, it's from Malcolm X when he says, the future belongs to those who prepare for it today. So like I mentioned in my definition, the future can be changed by present variables. How you deal with things today, that's going to determine how you deal with things in the future or what your future is. So this next theme, this theme really, really surprised me. I mean, out of all, this one surprised me the most. I never saw myself as a strategic person. I'm, I felt like I was kind of the person that just go for it, you know, just just do it and we'll deal with the consequences later. But it was assigned to me, so I guess in some ways I am strategic according to the way I answered my answers on the assessment. The way I describe strategy, three simple words, one step ahead. You just got to be one step ahead of the opponent. This is important for success in anything you do. And one picture for me that really describes strategy is, as I have here on the right hand side, I have a couple of old men playing chess. The reason why this picture strikes me so much is that old men, you know, physically, they really have, they have nothing to offer. They're not strong. They, they can't fight. They can't take things down. But it just goes to show that with strategy, they're using the strategy to play the game. And, and that itself is just a very valuable weapon. You, with strategy, you can overcome your weaknesses and, and be successful. So that's why I picked that picture. I think it really does a good job of illustrating it. Well, this next theme, Focus, uh, I think I have a hard time focusing and out of all the themes I think this theme has really forced itself in my life. Uh, as an achiever I'm always looking for what's the next goal, what's the next thing to do. And on my quest to achieve my goals sometimes I lose focus and in my life losing focus like this it has cost me big big time. One quote that I believe that really shows the importance of focus is 
from a man named Zig Ziglar. He says, lack of direction, not lack of time is the problem. We all have 24 hours in one day. That just goes to show the importance. I mean, if, if you're not on track on, to what you're doing and you're not focused, it can cost you. Just, just think about it. I give you one task. I say, for example, hey, go wash the car. And on the way to wash the car, you get distracted. You go, you play Xbox. You know, you start playing with the soap. You start a water fight. How long is it really going to take you to, to complete this task? So you can, you can put that metaphor in anything, really. So, for example, graduating college. That's my main goal right now. If I don't stay focused and I don't stay committed to the classes that I'm doing, I lose track. I lose track with bad friends. I lose track with parties, things of that nature. It's going to take me a real long time to graduate when my other peers could have graduated in four years and been making double, triple the money than I am. In my words, focus is a skill to eliminate all surrounding distractions while successfully completing one task. Last, but certainly not least, is communication. To me, communication is the transfer of an idea, whether that be verbally, physically, or by any other means. Now, I know you're asking yourself, why the heck is there a monkey, a half-human, half-monkey on this slide? Well, let me explain. As you can see by the slide, please don't get offended, but in reality, we do look like monkeys. They're the closest animal to us, but what makes us so superior? Why are we out there conquering things that no one's heard of, going to space, flying jets, all coming up with all this new technology? Well, it's communication. Communication. We're able to communicate in ways that monkeys can't. We're able to share ideas, and this is why we are the most superior animal on the planet. Now, the reason why I said, certainly not least, communication is a crucial, a crucial, crucial, very important theme that I will be using in college. I need to use my communication to express my ideas and thoughts and be able to prove to my professors that I actually do know what they're teaching me, whether it be essays, tests, or performances like this. To conclude, I'd like to give a big thank you to StrengthQuest for making this assignment and truly showing me what my real five themes and my real strengths are so I can use these themes in the future for success now in my quest to become an electronic engineer and in the future as an engineer. Now you may ask yourself, how are you going to use these five themes? Well, I'll tell you how I'm going to use these five themes specifically in this class to pass this class in one sentence. Ready? I will start now strategizing my ideas to successfully communicate in an oral presentation and achieve my main goal of passing this class while staying focused on the future. And by this presentation, I think the rest speaks for itself on how I'm going to use this after I become an engineer, after I pass this class, and throughout my life. Thank you for your time and I really hope you enjoyed this presentation.